What's up everybody, it's Merman Mike. I'm out here with Terry. I actually met him at the dive shop I go to and it's gonna be his first dive out here after he got certified. Super excited, uh, he does what I do and he's trying to get into it. He actually went out and got the super good metal detector. Really excited about this. We're gonna see how it works under there. Got my girlfriend Natasha, she's out here by the heater. Not on yet, but I'm sure it will be later. Um, I've got my little metal detector I brought as well. I'm gonna be out there using that and hopefully we're gonna find something really cool. Found a gun the other video and uh, still tingling about that. Can't wait to find out more about it. But if you've never been to my channel before, what I like to do is I go down there, I search for any sort of lost valuables to return back to their owner. And I also try to get all the trash while I'm down there. I thoroughly believe you can't just go for the treasure. You always have to get the trash too. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited to see what's down there. I know Terry's excited and uh, should be a really good time, so stay tuned. So, the last time I was here, I got a bike and I put it up there. Maintenance said they were going to come grab it, but it looks like someone threw it in the lake before they could, so we'll go grab that really quick before we start our dive. Last thing I ever want to do is leave trash somewhere. Let's go find out what's under this bridge. All right, everybody. We just got done with our dive out here at Lake Natoma. Got Terry over here. Um, we didn't have a lot of results, but we did find a couple cool items, so I'm gonna show you guys those. Uh, we actually found a couple bikes in there. Both of them are far too stuck in the muck to actually get out right now, but I recently bought a rope and a pulley, so I'm gonna come back on another day. I'm gonna make a video to where we actually pull those out with the rope and the pulley, and that should be really cool. But uh, other things we have, we got the whole bucket of trash actually found the buckets in there as well but uh yeah we got a whole jameson bottle in there and there's a pair of underwear we found like i don't know probably like 12 to 15 of these but uh oh look there's the grizzly chew cap <laughs> one dollar off people big come up <laughs> but uh other things i found a gas cap I'm assuming it's a gas cap to a boat, but it could be a super old car. Terry found this hat. It's his first hat. He also found an earring by I, who didn't even have the metal detector. And then he found his first knife too. That's super cool. That actually looks like it could be cleaned up. But uh, yeah, so that's really cool. And then I found a pair of sunglasses, which I'm always excited for. Haven't done a dive yet where I haven't found a pair of sunglasses. So super excited about that. I told you guys, if the bike was still there, when I went back, I'd drag it back myself, and that's exactly what we did. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go put this over by the trash can, and hopefully that'll make it a little bit easier for maintenance to come throw it away. Yeah, we went back, and uh, first I was pretty excited because we actually didn't see the bike, and I was like, all right, they came and got it. But it turns out someone just threw it back in the water, so. Got that out of there again, and this time we'll put it right by the trash can ourselves. That piece can fit inside. <laughs> Alright. Oh, 
go back and get the bucket of trash and we'll throw that in there too and it'll be a good day. All right, everybody, where the trash is supposed to go. What's up everybody, it's Merman Mike. I'm back here at Lake Natoma. Got my beautiful girlfriend Natasha with me. And uh, yeah, we actually came back because there's a couple bikes down there that I wasn't able to actually lift out by hand because they're so far stuck in the silt. Um, but I did go to the hardware store and the dive shop to specifically get some tools to help me with it. So uh, I'm gonna show you guys what those are right now and then I'm gonna basically just show you guys the whole process of me doing it. And this is the first for me trying to get anything out from the bottom of the lake that I can't just do by hand. So it'll be a learning experience for all of us. Um, but yeah, so the first thing I got was I got this dive or uh, this airbag, not a dive bag. I guess it's a dive airbag, but uh, it lifts about 50 pounds and you're going to fill it up right here with your regulator, your octo regulator and uh, just that air displacement in the bag makes it float up to the surface so I figured that'll help me out um, if I can't just get it up by hand and that then I'm gonna use this pulley as well I went out to Home Depot and got this and I got this big rope too to help me out and then uh, just for giggles I brought the magnets that I found as well figure we might throw those in a couple times afterwards or uh, maybe even to help out get the bikes out but uh, there's also a ladder down there that I'm gonna try to get today as well. We came out here pretty late, so I might have to do this on another video with the ladder and the other bike, but I definitely wanna try to get the one bike that's uh, right around between that second and third pillar, possibly even right on the third pillar. But uh, yeah, I'm really excited to see how this works. And uh, as you guys can see, the water level is actually a lot higher. That's why I've got all my stuff set up up here and not down there on that little rock bed. But uh, should be pretty cool. Like I said, this is my first time ever doing something like this, so glad you guys are here with me and let's see how it goes. Whoa! God, I'm finding so much stuff. I'm so off track though. Hold on, I'm coming back. What's up everybody, it's Merman Mike. I just got done with my dive out here at Lake Natoma. We didn't actually find the bike, it was way too silty down there. Um, I started kicking up a lot of it and started getting way too cloudy. Um, so, kinda got discombobulated and a little lost. 
Ended up finding some cool things, but not the bike. I'm gonna be back tomorrow to hopefully find that because it'll have more visibility. It rained this morning and last night, so that always does not help with my visibility. But anywho, we did find some pretty cool things. I'm gonna show you guys that now. All right, so we found a fishing rod and reel, which is always super cool. And then uh, found this electrical box. I don't know why that was down there, but it was. Uh, found this which was probably the coolest find of the day it's this 99 cent store but it looks like it was a like a 10 year anniversary coin but uh yeah I mean I can't imagine that's real gold but I'm gonna check it out when I get home and I'll let you guys know if it is um, other things we found this pair of sunglasses that every time I touched it it fell apart I literally couldn't grab a single piece without it falling apart but I uh, got these three pairs of sunglasses. I don't see any like names on them. Uh, this one's a Smith & Wesson. Uh, this one is something. But uh, found this dive mask, which was pretty sweet. Definitely uh, seen better days. And then I have no idea what that is, but we found that. If any of you guys know what that is, please let me know in the comments. Um, I'm assuming it was used when they build the bridge or something, but I have no idea. And then, of course, all the trash we came across along the way, we made sure to pick that up as well. Because I thoroughly believe you can't just go for the treasure and you always have to go for the trash. Radio Shack. Radio Shack. That's <laughs> so old. All right, guys. So we're back. Got my beautiful girlfriend, Natasha, again. I actually had to buy a new wagon because dragging the bike from here to the dumpster, I'm pretty sure uh, broke the last one, but I think I can repair the other one. We just didn't really have time to today. But uh, so yeah, we just ran to the store, grabbed another wagon and uh, went back, looked at some videos, made sure I actually knew the location of the bike this time. And uh, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to get it now. All right guys, so this time, instead of trying to find my way over there from here, I'm gonna basically go over to that fourth pillar and start my way there and work back. Hopefully I'll uh, not stir up as much stuff on the way there. A lot better chance of finding the bike. And we can see if this thing finally works. It's so cold. Here we go. I need the stronger rope. <sighs> All right, guys. Well, the little yellow line I have does definitely not cut it, so I think we've got a stronger rope. see the wheel right here. Basically what 
I did. But I tied this around the wheel and the tire, and then I put the excess end, I tied that to the dry bag, or the uh, airbag, and I tied the pulley side, obviously, to the rope. That way, hopefully, this would give us a little bit of extra pull and help us out with actually bringing it up. And it turns out it just uh, drug it all the way up to the surface and broke loose by the time I actually got my gear off and got up to the bridge. But uh, this is awesome. Got the bike. Let's go get some more treasure. More trash. everybody just got done with our dive and it was awesome the airbag worked perfectly we were actually able to get that bike up out of the lake oh i went down there the first time i went down there as you guys will see i actually ended up snapping the little line that i had it tied to and it flew straight up to the surface and uh so i had to go back and get the airbag and when i did that i also brought down a thicker rope with me so ended up tying that thicker rope around the bike and then to the airbag to give us a little bit more extra leverage when we started pulling it up with the pulley and by the time I actually got down here, got all my stuff off and started coming up and around the bridge, the airbag actually broke the bike loose from all the silt and whatnot and was waiting for me at the surface when I got around there. But uh, yeah, I had a really good day. We didn't find too many treasures, but I'm going to show you the things we did find and uh, let's get started. All right, so this was the bike chain. Found that one when I went back down. Got a little bungee cord. This is probably going to be my favorite new lure um super new looking and it's got a little rattle in there so that's really cool but uh found this little electrical box don't know why i keep finding these in the lake but they're here um and then the other thing i found is this i have no idea what this is if you guys do please let me know in the comments because uh yeah i'm stumped i'm assuming it has something to do with when they worked on the bridge but uh I have absolutely no idea what it's for. And the other thing is, made sure to get all the trash we came across because can't just go for the treasure, you always gotta get the trash. And then let me show you guys the bike. Beautiful girlfriend. But yeah, here's the bike. Super heavy. Yeah, I actually thought I was bringing out a motorcycle when I took it up because it was so heavy. But uh, yeah, I looked it up and it's like a $350 bike or something like that. And uh, I'm just glad it's not in there anymore. We didn't find anything we could return to an owner, but hey, I'm always excited when we get trash out of there too. And please, if you guys like these videos, make sure you guys are liking, subscribing, sharing with your friends. Always helps me get out here and get more things out of the river and the lakes. And uh, yeah, I've just had a really good day. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. All right, take care. No trash left behind. All right, everybody, where are your trash is supposed to go. Till next time, everybody. Take care.